a mixed number is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. And to convert this to improper fraction, you just need to follow three steps. First, multiply the whole number and the denominator. For example, we have here 3 and 2 fifths. Multiply 3 and 5, and it will give you 15. Second step, add it to the numerator. 15 plus 2, that will be 17, and 17 will be the numerator of our answer. And for the third step, you just have to copy the denominator from the original mixed number, and that is 5. So your answer is 17 over 5. Let's try those three steps in our second example. First, multiply 5 and 18. 5 times 18, that will be equal to 90. After that, add 90 to the numerator. The numerator is 11, so 90 plus 11, you'll get 101. That will be our numerator. And then, copy the denominator given, which is 18. So the answer is 101 over 18. Last example. Again, the first step is... Multiply the whole number and the denominator. 2 times 10, that's 20. After that, add 20 to the numerator. That's the second step. 20 plus 1, that will be 21. You may write that in the numerator of our answer. And the last step, copy the denominator of the given mixed number, and that's 10. So the answer is 21 over 10. Alright, improper fractions are fractions where the numerator is higher or greater than the denominator. And to convert this into mixed number, we may just divide the numerator by the denominator. So numerator is 23 and divide it by the denominator 20. So 23 divided by 20, you get 1. 20 times 1, that is 20, then subtract. 23 minus 20, you get 3. Now, to form the mixed number, your answer will be the whole number, the remainder will be your numerator, and the divisor we use, or the denominator, is 20. So, it is 1 and 3 over 20. Next, let's try this one. 35 over 8. So, that means we need to divide 35 by 8. 35 divided by 8, so we'll get 4. 4 times 8 is 32. Subtract. 35 minus 32 is 3. The whole number is the answer, which is 4. The remainder is your numerator, which is 3. And the denominator is 8. So we have 4 and 3 eighths. Last try. 79 over 5. So it means that we'll be dividing 79 by 5. Alright, so 7 divided by 5, that's 1. 1 times 5, that's 5. Subtract. 7 minus 5, that's 2. Bring down 9. 29 divided by 5 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Alright. Subtract. 29 minus 25. You get 4. So no digit to bring down anymore. So that's it. Your answer, which is 15, will be your whole number. Remainder is your numerator. And the divisor is your denominator. So we got 15 and 4 over 5. That's it.